Hello, everybody, and welcome to another midweek snack. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with you. All right. First off the top, we've got to try this Rip Van Waffle. So I love the name. I wasn't super crazy about the execution of the first one I tried, but the cookies and cream I was one that I tried just on my own, and I liked it at least that I can remember. So we're gonna try this today and uh, give Rip Van Waffle Rip Van Waffles. Another uh, another try here. So again, cookies and cream, 10 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber, 5 grams of sugar, 13 net carbs. 180 calories in this big boy. Nutritional facts. Ingredients list. Uh, stuff. <laughs> other stuff from Rip Van Waffle. About Rip Van Waffle. Seriously, I love Rip Van Waffle. I love the name. I just love that name. All right, so this, this waffle is a little crumbly. Definitely had a bit of a bit of a break there, but still, oh yeah, <laughs> a lot of a break. Um, they are not using the traditional flour. Um, I, I ripped the crap out of this. Well, it does say they are using wheat flour, but whatever combination they're using in here, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know if it's, a, you know, they've got chicory root fiber, oat fiber. Oh, there's monk fruit in here too. I guess I didn't really, interesting. So it does have wheat, but I don't know. It just doesn't hold the consistency as the, as the normal, normal waffle. Um, and it tasted different too, so. Again, good smell though. Mm. Oh wow. That is a crispy waffle. Um, that is way crispier than the one that I had prior and way crispier than the one that I tried off camera. That is interesting. I think this waffle is overcooked. In the factory because neither of the prior two waffles were that that crunchy I don't know if that's picking up on the mic I know some people don't like to hear the chewing and everything but it is what it is that is super crunchy I mean it's crunchy with a gooey center flavor wise though because it still dries the bone, all right? It still dries the bone, okay? But the flavor is so much better. It's definitely more creamy. A little bit of chocolate, but not overwhelmingly chocolate. Not super sweet. Um, you know, I almost kind of want a Stroop waffle where they fill it with like like a fruit filling because you know a lot of Stroop waffles do caramel honey stinger does honey that's great but I and I know it's I don't it's not traditional I guess but I I would love to see like this filled with like strawberry god that'd be good I need to start a Stroop waffle company where I make fruit fruit injected Stroop waffles would anybody buy those probably not <laughs> <laughs> have to come up with a name but anyway so Rip Van Waffle the cookies and cream if you're gonna get one cookies and cream is where to go I don't even remember the flavor of the last one but it wasn't it wasn't near as good as this for some reason the off taste of the first one is masked by this particular co uh, concoction but it does appear that their quality and control might be a little bit over all over the place because again the first cookies and cream I had was a lot softer it wasn't crunchy like this this is crunchy it's still dry as a bone, so it would definitely be something like a drink dipper, but this thing would fall apart if I went to dip this in coffee or tea or whatever. So, bit of a meh to that. But flavor-wise, that's the one to get for sure if you're going to buy Rip Van Waffle. So, anyway, that's all I had for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Can't even talk. <laughs> if you do have any suggestions for future videos... Leave them down in the comments, or if you have anything you'd like to send in to be reviewed, P 
P.O. Box is in the description. We'll catch you on the next one.